Hi guys! Today I'm going to build these bright LED light panels, which are tunable, so they can go from about 3500 to 6000 Kelvin. Now I've been wanting something like this for a while, where I can have really cool light in the daytime and for filming, and then switch it to a warmer light during evenings. So that is what I'm doing. I started with cutting up some MDF for these panels. I'm mostly using quarter inch or six millimeter MDF, with a few pieces being half inch or 12 millimeters. I'm actually making three light panel boxes, one large and two smaller as well as one control box. Next, I'm cutting up some aluminum here, and this is to attach to the MDF to act as a heat sink to distribute the heat from the LED strips. Once I had them cut to a good size, I stapled them to attach. Then it was a simple matter of assembling the boxes. And I'm just using glue and a pin nailer. Now for the lighting, I'm using two different types of strip lights. One cool 6000 Kelvin and one warm 3500 Kelvin. I'm cutting them up to the same length, and then I'm alternating the strips on the panel, so gluing on a cool strip next to a warm strip, and so on. Just making sure I have all the pluses lined up on one side, etc. Once I had all the lights attached, began the task of soldering them together. So I soldered all the cool strips together, and then all the warm strips together. This is pretty time consuming, because each needs a positive and a negative, so there was quite a lot of soldering to do. I also connected the two smaller light boxes to a piece of scrap plywood, and that way I can later attach both of them to the ceiling in one piece. And uh, I painted everything white. Next up, I connected the two light boxes with wire, and I'm hiding the wire on the other side so you won't see it once it's up in the ceiling. Here is the larger light box, which I'm testing out over the tool wall. I didn't want to be looking directly at the strip lights, so I'm cutting up some acrylic panels here. I'm cutting up three pieces, two small and one large. And this material cuts really well on the table saw and the miter saw. Then I took off the protective plastic and sprayed some frosted spray paint to diffuse the lights. And here's the idea. I was thinking I could connect it with some brackets held by pressure just screwed to the MDF, not the panels, and that way you could slide them in and out. I'm putting up the larger unit and I'm just screwing that in before putting on the cover. So here's all three units. So the idea here is that I have two fixtures, one of the tool wall, fixture A, and one of the bench, fixture B. Each have two colors that can vary warm and cool. Here are the electronics that I'm working with. Now I want to independently be able to control either fixture on or off, because sometimes I might want the bench light on, but not the backlight, etc. So I have two light fixtures, a power source, two switches, one to control each lighting fixture, and I have two PWM dimmers. One will control all the warmer lights and one will control all the cooler lights. This is how they're all connected. And these are all positive wires. Then here are the negative wires. And here I'm just using this board to install posts to, so I can connect the wires from the lighting very easily. Here's the MDF control box pieces. Now once I had tried the concept out here on the test board, I drilled some holes in the MDF, and this is where the various switches and knobs will attach to. So here's the control box. I first connected it underneath the cabinet, and now I'm putting on the bottom, just testing the front out. When I knew that worked, I went back to the electronics. Here they are. 
I connected the knobs and switches to the front board and put everything together. Then I brought the wires from the lighting fixtures together, trying to keep them neat here with some cable organizers, so down the wall and into the box. Also doing the same with the smaller panels, keeping the wires together neatly on the beam. Okay, so now I have all the electronics connected on the front piece here. And I'm connecting the incoming wires from the lights to the board. And for power, I'm using this 10 amp 12 volt power brick, which I special ordered for this project. And I'll leave links in the description to all the products that I used. The complicated part here is the dimmers each affect the colors of the lights, but the switches control the fixtures. So that means you have to independently switch the colors to each fixture. And that requires a switch that can switch more than one line independently. And here you go. Now I can control either light section on or off. I can also control all the warmer lights as well as all the cooler lights since they are all connected. Now I love the flexibility this provides. That I can use cooler lights in the daytime and especially when filming. And then I can make them more neutral or quite warm at night when I want it a little cozier in the shop. So I think alternating the lighting strips like this worked out great. It's really fun also to have the control box with all the different switches and knobs and yeah, I just think it looks kind of cool. <laughs> So uh, thanks for watching guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. And like I said, I'll leave links in the description to the products that I use. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!